Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In this video I am talking about the new DJI Mavic Air and specifically five questions I keep seeing being posted around the internet and forums. Five questions, three of them about sensor calibration, one about updating and another one about the batteries. So I'm not going to waffle anymore, let's get on with it. Okay, the first thing I see mentioned is what do I need to calibrate when I get my Mavic Air new out of the box? Number one, you do not need to calibrate the IMU. In fact, I strongly advise against calibrating the IMU. Since DJI introduced the Mavic Pro, they changed the way they do these calibrations at the factory and they are now done in a set of temperature controlled conditions. This means that you do not need to do it when you first get your new aircraft. If you do do it, I'd recommend making sure that it is completely cold and as cold as you can get it first, and I don't mean put it in the fridge. But again, the only time you should need to calibrate the IMU on a modern new DJI aircraft is if the app warns you to. I have several of the new ones and I have never calibrated the IMU on my Mavic Pro. I've never calibrated the IMU on my Inspire 2 either. It has simply not been necessary. Number two, the compass. Yes, you do need to calibrate the compass. Now I have seen some people say, no, you don't need to do that either. I highly recommend doing it when you first get your aircraft in a wide open location. The reason is, even if it was calibrated at the factory, that is the other side of the globe, the magnetic area you live in is not the same as it is in China. So make sure when you get it out the box, take it outside away from any metal, any electrical cables, and also any smart devices, Apple watches, Android watches, your phone. Make sure the aircraft is as far away from them as possible. When you do the calibration, put your stuff on the floor, put the aircraft about 20 meters away. Then initiate the calibration, go and pick it up and take it through the process. Do that in some way that it is completely clear, away from the metal, away from the electrics, and you won't have any problems at all. Further to that, the next thing I see asked is, well, when do I need to calibrate the compass again? The way I tend to do this is as follows. Unless I move approximately 100 miles away, you should not need to calibrate it again. If the DJI GO app warns you to recalibrate the compass at a local location to where you calibrated it last time, actually be a little bit suspicious. There's a possibility there's some metal in the ground or there's some cables there that are interfering with the compass because it should only warn you if there is a large fluctuation in magnetic change. And whilst you can get this in localized areas, usually within an area of 100 miles, it shouldn't be too different. The third thing I see being asked is the visual positioning system. Do I need to calibrate that? That is the same as the IMU. You should not need to do it outside of the box. It should come preset. If you do get some warnings about problems with your visual positioning system, the first thing I would do is refresh the firmware via the Assistant 2 app because sometimes if the firmware hasn't loaded properly, I have found that the visual positioning system can give you a few strange errors. The fourth thing I want to talk about is updating the firmware and do you use DJI Go or Assistant 2? Well, the reality is they are the same, just different methods of achieving the same goal. Assistant 2 is the PC and Mac application and DJI Go is your smart device application. The advantage to using Assistant 2 is you also have the refresh feature which allows you to update the aircraft with the same version as it's already on. Now you can do this via DJI GO but it's a bit of a faff and it's a lot easier to do it with Assistant 2. If you are going to use Assistant 2, first thing you need to do is make sure you're using the correct version. The earliest version that works with the Mavic Air is version 1.2.2 and you will also need to update both your aircraft and your controller because when you do it via Assistant 2, they are not linked. If you do it via the Go app, it updates both at the same time. However, if you do it via Assistant 2, it does not. So you would first of all, plug your aircraft in and update it to the latest firmware. Then turn your aircraft off, plug your RC in and turn it on and then update that to the latest firmware as well. 
And finally, we're going to talk about battery updates. Do you need to update the firmware on your batteries? The answer to that is yes. However, this is basically done automatically. To do it, you simply update your aircraft to the latest firmware and put all your batteries in and turn the aircraft on. If the battery has an older firmware version, DJI Go will pop up with a message saying, mismatch found, please slide to update and you simply then slide the update and it will update the firmware on the battery for you. As it's doing that the two centre lights on the battery will actually flash. Now you might not see it on this aircraft because the battery is underneath however in normal circumstances the two LEDs will flash as it's updating the firmware. This should not be able to happen in flight either. However, if you do just take off and it comes with a module mismatch error, please slide to update. Do not do this whilst the aircraft is in the air. Land, then let it do the update. It usually takes about 20-30 seconds and it does not need to download firmware to do that. The firmware is already on board the aircraft itself. So that is the five most common things I have seen posted about the Mavic Air Online and the five most common questions from new users. I hope this has been helpful for some people. Please subscribe to the channel and I will do another video again soon.